Hello, this is Bilal Siddiqui and you're watching Kwabga Library Project. Uh, this is uh, me reading the Quran uh, translation by M.A.S. Abdul Halim. Uh, this book has been published by Oxford Words Classics and it is one of the pioneer books uh, when it comes to English translations. So this has been made easy for the people to understand. Those who do not understand Arabic and those who just want to uh, understand in a very clear and easy manner what the holy book of Quran is, which is uh, the word as the highest uh, form of, uh, you can say, guidance for humanity uh, and Muslims' most read book in the world. Like this is the holy book which they have believed they believe that is revealed to the holy prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam which is peace be upon him, uh, which was the last prophet to ever have arrived in the world, according to Islam. So this is uh, me reading this book, and I'll be uploading these videos and sharing my thoughts with you, and uh, it would be more of like just reading the book rather than a commentary, because uh, then it would be too much detail, because this book is uh, quite long and that can take quite much time and since this is the holy month of ramadan and uh, many muslims and non-muslims alike would be um, curious to understand what's in the book because this month has been uh, this according to the lunar calendar this month is regarded as the month where the quran was first revealed and when it was ended so and when its revelation ended uh, to the final prophet so um this is going to be it um this is for the introduction of the book uh, i'm going to be um covering it in very small parts so that uh, everyone gets a fair share of understanding and it wouldn't be too long of a video so i would try to keep these videos short and uh, to start i will just be um Okay, so these are the contents of the book. So I'd be I, I try to cover all of the contents in this month, and um, of course I would need a lot of motivation for that. But uh, because I wanted to cover it myself, so this is going to be more for myself than uh, the Hopka community. So um, bear with me even as I cover, and I would try to keep up my pace so everyone gets a fair share and everyone gets an understanding in this month of this book. And it would be a very simple translation. It won't be anywhere near a commentary or a proper um, translation for spiritual purposes or to understand the depths of the Quran. It is more like just covering cover to cover the translation, the basic translation. And wherever necessary, I would be uh, pitching in um, some of my own comments, which uh, a normal reader might have. And none of this would be coming from my background as a... Uh, um because i have read many of the different books related to quran and i have heard many things about quran so i'd be uh, mentioning those but uh, i'm not a scholar of quran and i'm not uh, in any way claim to be, be a master of this book i am not i am a literally you can say i'm just reading it out um even though i've read this before in arabic i have read some of the translations of the book but from cover to cover uh, this is going to be the first one for me as well so you'd have to bear uh, in mind all these things as i go through so just covering the contents part for this part for this video uh introduction uh, there will be the life of muhammad and the historical background sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, peace be upon him revelation of the quran the compilation of the quran the structures of the quran surahs and ayahs so solistic features uh, issues of, of interpretation, a short history of English translations, this translation, chronology of the Quran, uh, select bibliography, and map of Arabia at the time of revelation. So this is this is basically the introduction of the book. Um, after the introduction would be um, the chapters of the Quran. So Quran has uh, like 114 chapters and all of these uh, are not in any particular order. Um, one order which many might I understand is that the 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 chapters which uh, are in the start of the book are normally longer and those at the end are relatively quite short so this can be one of the uh, you can say 
um, how the chapters are divided. Other than that, the chapters in of themselves are lessons and chapters in of themselves are something and just their sequence does not uh, in particular mean something they were just compiled in this way. So the basic chapters, all chapters uh, are not related with each other. Uh, some are, some are not. So bear in mind when we are like covering this part. So uh, we start off with like the opening and then we go all the way to um, so there are like 114 chapters and uh, so yeah the last chapter would be the people and uh, we won't be going to the index so this was the introduction of uh, this series that we are going to be covering in this month um, if you have any comments to share it with us uh, we'd love to hear from you and that would be it from my side uh, hope to see you in the next one where we uh, start off with the introduction of uh, this particular book and as the introduction gets over with then we will going to be covering the actual book which is the chapters thank you